Oh man, that was embarrassing, but it happens, right? It happens. Admit it, everybody watching this video that who has played this game before has probably done that at one time or another. Just admit it. Don't tell me you haven't. I won't believe you if you do. Oh, welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to make preparations uh, for Horde Night. I was planning on doing uh, a lot of that off camera, but um, I discovered after watching um, a Ravenhurst video from my friend Camos Gamer, which if you guys don't know who he is, you should check him out. He does a lot of he does a lot of Seven Days to Die mod series, and uh, he's a good good guy. Uh, anyway, he was playing Ravenhurst, and I actually saw him take the hoe and hoe up some ground, uh, you know, by some water and plant seed without using a farm plot at all. So let's see if we can do the same thing here. I don't know if um, it's actually going to grow, but we'll try it. Did we already get that? Yeah. wonder why the dirt doesn't change texture after you hoe it. That's kind of interesting. Um, and I also got two things of fertilizer um, out of the compost bin and then got the next uh, the next one going. So we got that working. And let's see. Let's kill you. Uh, I made arrows for Horde Knight, uh, but we're also going to have, um, you know, we're going to have the 7.62 ammo for the AK, which is on my toolbar now. And uh, so looking forward to that. For Horde Knight, plus we're going to have pipe bombs, and we're going to have uh, pistol ammo if we need it. And, you know, I mentioned this earlier, but the, the main challenge, I guess is the right word, at this point is that I, I don't have any hardly any skills in those, so... But the only way I'm going to get those skills is by using it. So, in the meantime, you know, it's going to take a few thousand rounds before we actually get to the point where... We're doing significant damage, but you know, that's just the way, way it works. And I'm okay with that because I much, much prefer um, skill-based progression anyways, you know, than I guess what you might call perk-based per progression. So, okay. So I'm assuming what we do, we do this like you used to. So you just put the, oh, okay. So I can't set, I uh, put the fertilizer there. Let's try um, some corn seed then. Okay. So when you put the corn now, do we put the, this on there? No. How does that... Okay, do we do it like we used to, where... We hoe it again after? All right, hold on a second. Recipes. Oh, so do you... Using fertilizer in the recipe of seed creation will yield you more seed. Oh, I see how that works. Okay. Okay, so it's not like the original method of applying fertilizer in old school seven days um you get more seeds okay that's really good to know okay so what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to just plant a few of the existing seeds that i have and i just want to see if they're going to grow and if this actually works before i commit to you know a larger um farm larger farm and um and one, you know, one thing we could do, of course, is just plant all the way around the perimeter of the lake. I know that's probably a little bit weird, but if you know, if it requires, if the plants are, you have to be near water. I mean, that's the easiest thing to do for now. Okay, so let's plant that one. And um, does it let me? Okay, yeah. So it won't let me. It won't let me plant it at all if the ground's not tilled. So that's kind of to be expected. So we'll till that and then put this other out. Okay, so we'll just see how these crops do. Um, and, you know, if they grow and we can get a harvest off them, then I'll probably do something uh, quite a bit more extensive around the lake here. Uh, okay, so anyway, we'll, we'll save this fertilizer, of course, to make more seeds. Uh, but what we're going to do now is I need to do some fishing. So I'm going to... Uh, Get set up for that. We've got uh, 50 worms. Oh, I noticed, too, that when I opened the compost bin when it was done, it actually gave me some worms, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, so I'm going to do a little bit of fishing, and then I'm going to do a little bit of mining. Um, I'm going to mine stone in particular. 
uh, because I need more limestone. And then uh, hopefully this afternoon we will be able to um, get to work on the horde base. Well, not hopefully, we need to. <laughs> that's not a, that's not an if, that's a when kind of thing, right? Um, so here, let's, uh, let's give you the inaugural 762 shot in the head. There we go. Okay. So we just, we're well on our way to, to earning, uh, automatic weapons skill there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, anyway, um, I will, um, I might bring you back for an update um, or I might just get everything done and then, you know, start the horde night, um, when I bring you back. We'll see, we'll just see how things go. Okay. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, it is horde night. Uh, so uh, I'm going to actually pause the screen for a minute. Uh, I got, uh, all the blocks down below upgraded to the first tier of concrete. Um, and I think most, if not all of them are cured. So we got that done. Uh, and then I went around with the rest of the concrete. I think I had about seven, seven hundred and fifty ish or so, which basically, uh, no, actually I didn't have that even that many. I think I had like four hundred and fifty concrete. Uh, so that allowed me to do something like forty five blocks. Um, so I I made the center block here in the pit uh, concrete, and then I went around the building and just kind of shored it up with the rest of the concrete. Excuse excuse me that I had. Um, I put um, a hatch in here. Um, kind of in the middle so I can open it up and it's upside down so it'll open down and then I can just drop pipe bombs uh, down below on the zombies. And I think that's pretty much it uh, that I did off camera. I had to do, I finished up my fishing, had to do some mining and stuff like that. And I think we're ready uh, to go for Horde Night 35. So yeah, this should be interesting. Um, I'm not, um, I'm not real concerned, but maybe just a little bit concerned about how the building's going to hold up tonight. I think it'll be okay, but I, I think this will probably be the last time we're going to be able to get away with using this setup um, unless we did some really substantial um, upgrading on the building. Uh, you can see here that I have 1,229 enemy kills for game stage 56, um, and we are about three-fourths to the next level. Okay, uh, so let's get started here and see what we can do here. boy um wow wow i done got blown up <laughs> holy crap that's why i don't like to do uh 
Molotovs, um, you know, in hatches like that because, man, some, it's just too easy to uh, screw up like that. Okay, uh, now what do we do? I don't know, can we... We can run fast because we don't have any armor or anything on. I don't have, like, any of the... Whatchamacallit stuff, do I? Stuff that makes you run fast? Oh, shit. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's, um... Let's eat that. Let's take some fort bites. And... Let's just book it over there and see if we can make it. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Run, 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 run! If we can get back up there, you know, then we can get to our stuff and then we'll be able to resume. Oh man, that was embarrassing, but it happens, right? It happens. Admit it, everybody watching this video who has played this game before has probably done that at one time or another. Just admit it, don't tell me you haven't, I won't believe you if you do. Okay, we're good. We're good, we got this. That was hilarious, though. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get this back on and get back to it.
morning and we survived the horde night. Um, let's uh, let's do the usual. Let's get the hell out of here uh, so these guys despawn and we can hopefully get um, some of those loot bags. So, you know, other than m me killing myself, <laughs> which was on me, of course, uh, that was a quite successful night. We I don't know if you guys noticed this in the in the time lapse there, but we got five levels, you guys, tonight. Holy crap. I never didn't think I was going to get that many. Five levels. That's amazing. Um, so, yeah, the, the AK was super useful um, and effective. Even, you know, considering that we don't have any automatic skill. Well, we didn't. We have a, we have a few points in it now. Uh, and then, you know, the pipe bombs, I just kind of tried to distribute those throughout most of the night, waiting till, uh, for the most part, you know, we had a, a sizable group and uh, we just got tons of kills, you know, with those. And um, yeah, it was a really good night. I had to, uh, you know, resort to the bow right, you know, more towards the end there, but that that's to be expected. Uh, I was honestly, I was a little bit surprised that we used up as much of uh or that we used up all the 762s because man i had like what three stacks or so and i wasn't you know i wasn't fully automatic i was trying to use burst you know bursts and stuff but anyway uh it definitely used it up okay <coughs> excuse me let's um put our luckies on here and i also need to let's finish eating because my stamina cap's down a little bit and we still have zeke's around that we're gonna have to dodge uh, but let's see if we can get some of these bags before they, they despawn here. I'm hoping that, um, that none of these Zeeks in here are feral from leftover from last night. I'm going to get hit. Ah! Alright. Let's at least get some... Oh, no, no, don't stop there. What am I doing? Uh, let's get some, some bleeds on these guys. While we're trying to avoid them, so that way they'll start dying for us. They'll oblige us by dying for us. Okay, we're gonna get tagged. Yeah! Alright, what do we get? We got iron and ravioli. Good. Ravioli's good stuff. Oh, damn it. These aren't, uh, I'm pretty sure these aren't hordies. These are just the, the daily spawn in that happens. Oh, for goodness sakes. What the hell, man? Where did you guys come from? Let's go. Let's pull these guys back. This arc. do we have like a freaking um, buzzard horde or something going on here? I want to get these bags before they disappear. Oh, good. We got the crippling mod. Go away. Quick, 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 quick. Nice, we got some more ammo. Yeah, we must we must have a buzzard horde because otherwise where are all those buzzards coming from, right? I don't think I got a, a good hit off on him the first time there. So I didn't have a chance really to see, or didn't take the time, I guess, to see what our final kill count was. It's going to be a little higher just because of these zombies that I'm killing now. But that's good. I mean, it all counts, right? Oh, nice. It all counts. It's just uh, would have been nice to see what we got from the Horde Knight proper. 
Hmm, okay. Okay, let's pick that up, grab a few arrows, and then we'll see what the final results are here. But this, this place has actually worked quite well. I mean, better than I would have figured uh, for Ravenhurst on Insane. For, you know, all the way up to day 35. But it's, uh, the building's taken a beating. There's no doubt about that. And uh, I think, you know, if if we did use this for 42, which I'm not, at this point, I'm not planning on that. But if we did, we would need to do some pretty significant shoring up. Because, I mean, look how much support has been torn out of the building just on this side, you know. Um, and we're talking, you know, we'd be talking reinforced concrete, too, the next time around. But... Anyway, all right, let's uh, let's go ahead and I guess we'll have to kill these buzzards. We got a little more 762, so let's reload this and get these reloaded. All right, we're gonna run back to the base, and the buzzards will chase us um, as usual, you know. So let's. We'll take them out when we get over there. We need to get some gasoline. We're like super low on gas. All right. So buzzards coming over here or did we lose them? I th think we lost them. Okay. Well, we should just kind of keep our eyes peeled just in case. We need to check our knife kills too. I bet you we're getting really close to finishing that quest. Okay. Uh, I want to check one last time and make sure the buzzards aren't coming. Cause sometimes they'll follow you even when you're out of render distance and they'll, they'll keep following you and then they show back up again, you know? Alrighty. So let's see, uh, where, where we stand. So we got, we have 1500 case in point, right? You mother. anymore that might have actually been a, a, a new one because this is obviously the uh the day of the buzzards i don't think those guys are left over from horde night anyway um okay let's just kind of hunker down here so we're not getting snuck up on uh all right let's take a look at this so we got 1522 kills i'd say we probably killed around maybe 20 ish or so um, after the Horde Night was over. So we could say 15, let's just say 1,500. We started with 1,229. So what is that? Um, 271. So we did. We got about 271 kills. That's really good, man, really good. Um, and then let's see what we got for points. So we've got a total of five points. That is amazing. I did not think we would get that many points um in one night at, at this level you know um just it's just a good testament to how effective uh, the pipe bombs in particular are uh, so we definitely want to be making more of those too okay so let's see points i really need the next level of sexy tea absolutely need it so what we're going to have to do is take a uh, milk drinker for strength um and we're also going to have to take softy and then we can take the next thing of sexy tea. Okay, so that's going to give us reduced melee and tool stamina issues by 20%, power attacks by 40%, and killing lows grant 20 stamina. So that's going to really come in handy because, you know, um, I'm just, I'm still fighting the stamina, right? That leaves us two more points left. I could actually put a point into mother load. That would not be a bad idea just so we get more materials. But before we do that, um, I wanted to also look at... A couple other things oh i forgot to tell you guys uh off camera um did i do this off camera maybe i didn't i can't remember i i 
the last two points before now, I took lock picking and I we got the motorcycle. I don't, I honestly I don't remember if I did that on camera or not. I try and do these on camera, um, you know, for the most part, so you guys can see what I'm doing. But for whatever reason, I guess I I can't remember. So anyway, we we now have motorcycle maniac. Uh, the reason we don't have it because because we don't have the nerdy glasses on but you know we we can now the thing about that well here before we do that let's just finish our other two points so what do we want to do with them um you know because we're we're so effective now you know with with uh demolitions it wouldn't be a bad idea to get this up too uh which we definitely will do eventually wouldn't mind getting lucky looter up so those two in particular I want to keep in mind, I don't usually take lock picking up more than just the first level because then you can make them the really cheap. And, you know, if it takes five to break in or ten, then it takes five and ten. You just make more. So uh, anyway, uh, let's see. So for fortitude, we need a land lover to get to actual farm plots and rain. Not so much the farm plots if, you know, our planting actually works, which we need to go check. Uh, but we need to do the rain collectors for sure for, um, you know, for the quest. So that would be a good one. Pain tolerance is never a bad idea. Uh, we already have healing factor to two. Iron gut would not be a bad idea either. Um, so let's see. You get away with eating a lot of things that would kill most people. Reduce food and water loss from physical exertion. See, that's going to be huge. Chance of dysentery reduce buff from consumable last 20 percent longer. So that would be a really good one to do. Let's take a look here real quick at agility. Um, Flurry of blows. That's gonna that'd be nice. I've been wanting to to do run and gun, but I still don't think that's the highest priority for us right now. Uh, physician. What's doctor do? Medical items heal forty percent more health over time, gain sixty percent. The see the thing about this though is this isn't is only gonna be in effect if I'm wearing the nerdy glasses, which I only wear them part time. So, not so sure I want to do that. I I think here's what I think we should do. Let's go back to. Um, let's go back to fortitude and I think we should take the next level in pain tolerance and the next level in iron gut. And I think that was, that, that's a good choice of points. I'm going to be looking at going back to perception though and getting perception itself up directly. And we do have some perception glass. Wait, do we? I thought we had some perception glasses. Uh, oh, oh yeah, we do. Okay. So we have perception glasses, so we, we can get an effective third point so we really only need to just put one more point into this in order to then get uh demolitions and lucky looter uh, but here again we have to we have to be wearing those glasses to actually get the effect so i don't know we'll, we'll have to figure that out uh anyway okay that takes care of our points guys and um let's see composting is in progress there um this is good that we found that i'm definitely gonna to learn that um i don't I think I'm just going to sell that. I've never been a fan of the of the stun batons, even though this is actually given a stun baton uh, credit. And um, so let's put a couple things in here that we're going to sell uh, later. Uh, those we can just turn right on into bones. And yeah. All right. Well, I think I'm going to let you go here, and I need to figure out what our next move is. Now, I've been thinking, as you know, if you've been watching all, uh, you know, watching all along, I've been thinking about moving down to that south city. Um, but we're going to need a motorcycle. Well, we don't need it, but it's going to hugely come in handy. And here's the thing about the motorcycle that I noticed. So if we go into here and we type in motorcycle, or close enough to it, um. We're looking at this. Okay, so the handlebars, no big deal. Easily, easy, easy, easy peasy. Motorcycle chassis. It wants a car radiator flat and a car seat upright, not to mention 150 seal. But this I can get by wrenching, you know, lamp posts and, um, you know, uh, lamp posts and vending machines. And there's a few things, you know, there's a, I can get 150 steel is what I'm trying to say. I'm not too worried about that, but I don't know how to get these. I've wrenched a lot of cars now, and I have not seen either one of those, so I don't think it comes from wrenching, or at least not from using the rent, the pipe wrench. Maybe you have to have a higher level tool to get these things, but I've never seen the either one of these loots uh, in the entire time we've been playing Ravenhurst that I can think of. So, yeah, not sure what's going to happen with that. Um Feel free to let me know in the comments how I could maybe obtain those things, but just kind of keep in mind again that um, these episodes have been pre-recorded, um, and I'm many episodes ahead of you guys because of the fact that you know I, I have an out-of-town trip 
so that our comets are going to, you know, there's going to be a little bit of uh, out of sync. Uh, our comments are going to be out of sync for a while, so just kind of keep that in mind. Anyways, guys, I need to let you go here. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.